so we're inside the Vita now and we're going to turn the ignition on. On goes the glow plug light and stays on. So even if we start the vehicle, still got a glow plug light on there. The glow plug relay or module is situated at the front of the vehicle. It's next to the uh, power steering reservoir and the uh, washer bottle. So that's to, if you're looking at the vehicle, that's the right hand side, near side of the vehicle. And it's got 10 millimeter bolts, top and bottom. At the bottom, you've got the power feed, which you can see here is, it's got quite a bit of green on it. So it's pretty corroded at the moment. So that might be an issue. So we're going to start by taking off the uh, ignition feed. So it's got a little catch on the side. Just pull that and you should be able to get the electrical connector out fine. You can, if you're having a bit of trouble, use a pocket screwdriver. Just take it easy because you know, the vehicle's quite old. So once you've got that out of the way, I'm just going to take out the top bolt here, 10 millimeter. The glow plug issue of this vehicle is pretty common. Uh, I know a lot of people that just let them run as they are with the um, glow plug light on. Uh, the glow plugs are essentially there to meet emissions as far as I know. Uh, however, a lot of people just leave them as they are because these uh, glow plugs are well known for snapping off quite easily. However, I have seen changes where they've come straight out quite easily. So if you have got this issue, it's worth checking the relay first to see if it's actually working. So I'm just going to remove the bottom bolt now. Um, it all comes out quite easy because it's just situated in studs on the side of the actual bodywork. It, it comes out pretty easy because it's just a light module attached to the side of the frame. So as I said, it's, it's worth checking the relay before you go into looking at the uh, glow plugs. Sometimes you find it's actually the relay that's gone and not the glow plugs, which is causing the problem. So if we look at the uh, actual power feed here, you can see it's, it's pretty corroded. It's, it's got a lot of green on it. Uh, it may be an issue, it may not be. So what I'm going to do now is just check the actual power feed to see if that's working, see if we've got power, scrape off some of the rust, and yeah, we've got 12 volts, so that's good. I'm just going to remove now the electrical connector that goes to the glow plugs, and uh, looking at that it looks fine, it doesn't look like there's been any water getting in here. Uh, you can see the four male pins that go to the uh, and go go into the electrical uh, connector that goes to the the glow plugs. It's those four pins here. So what I'm going to start by doing is just testing these to see if we get any results. So as you can see there. I'm touching the pins and I'm getting voltage. Now this this isn't right. The, the at this point in time, the actual circuit should be open, so there should be no voltage coming to those pins. So I'm going to quickly show you how I did this. So basically, you pop it on ground, and you're just going to check these four pins here. So that's, that's, the where, that's where the ignition connects up to open the circuit and allow the main power feed to go through. So pop, pop your vehicle on position two so you've got some power coming through so the ignition is going to work and allow the power to come through and then just check these to see if they're actually closing the circuit to allow uh, power to go to the glow plugs. Uh, obviously if, if you're not getting it, which on this vehicle is exactly what happened, the glow plugs aren't getting power. So as I was checking this, some of them 
allowed power to come through, some of them didn't, the voltage was varying. So there I've only got, I think one of them has actually got power. Yeah, and the rest haven't. Just going to also check the power coming from the ignition, see if there's actually power being sent to that relay to enable it to open. So the power line is the black and red one, so I haven't got my back probe here, so I'm just going to use a pin, pop that in, um, pop the ignition on and see if we're getting voltage from there. So ground and check and you should get voltage coming through there. So the battery for the Vito is situated in the cabin, which if you own one you probably already know this. Let's pull the seat forward, uh, pull at the back. So it's going to disconnect the negative cable now. Just be careful not to uh, make contact with the uh, bar. As you can see at the top of the picture, there, there's a, up here there's a bar that uh, goes to the seat frame. Just try not to make contact with that, obviously. You might actually need a, a wobble bit to get in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just disconnect the uh, main power feed. It's not really on there too tight. A little bit stiff this one because it's rusted. So as I was removing this one, you can see it's just ripped. Uh, so that you know there was a lot of corrosion on there. So just going to need to change that out with a new ring connector. So um, first of all, just check you've got enough play in the wire. Uh, cut off a bit. Pop on your new ring connector. And then just clamp that down securely. There are special tools this, but I did use my pliers because they were at hand. Okay, so here's the new module. Um, this module I actually got from someone, so it's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is, is, is to quickly do it. There's the part number you can see. Quick comparison of the units, yeah, exactly the same. So we know our module, original module, is bad, so that's adding to the problem of the light. So just pop, pop, it, pop it on here with uh, a small washer, pop the nut back on. It's a little bit fiddly. And I'm just going to put this down sort of hand tight and snug it up. It doesn't require a lot to keep it on there. Don't go crazy. It's a little turn to, to make sure it's tight. It's going to reconnect now the connector, electrical connector that goes to the actual glow plugs. Also reconnect your ignition. I, mean, I think you, you you've got to actually get it in place before you can reconnect the ignition properly. Ignition wire. Pop pop your bolts back on. So we're back in the cabin now. This time, as you can see, the light has actually gone off. 
but as I said the glow plugs on this vehicle are bad so the lights come back on but although we haven't got this rigged up to a scanner or anything you can see that something has changed it's gone from a constant uh, light on so which was probably indicating that when the power was going to the actual relay that something was wrong and as we know it was wrong because the soaker was co constantly closed um, so now we can see that's going off okay so just to quickly recap um, it, it's pretty simple to do uh, very few tools um, as, I, as I said before in this vehicle there are occasions where it's the relay that's gone wrong and not the actual uh, glow plugs but the glow plug fault is very common on this vehicle um, it all, equally it's also a combination like on this vehicle is a combination of two problems um, so it's the relay and the glow plugs so if you're going to save yourself a few pounds um, you can change the relay check the relay like in this video and change the relay yourself and then if you're capable get the glow plugs done um, warning though they are very prone to snapping um, which means the heads either got to come off uh, uh, and be remachined or a new head or um, there are people that can actually remove the glow plugs um, once once they've actually snapped off in there but um, as I said the relay replacement very simple job so give it a go all right thanks a lot bye